We've carried Jagarm shotguns for a little while now, and the feedback has been really positive. Unsurprisingly, three or six shot bursts work pretty well for CQB, and there's just something so satisfying about racking that pump. A couple new models today, all of them shorty options, which makes them great to throw in the bag for a couple rounds of shotgun fun. We're also going to cover some parts and accessories that you might want for your drag arms. Let's get started. For those of you unfamiliar with the system, these are gas shotguns, so racking the pump takes the same amount of force as a real one, no pulling a heavy spring required. And it has quite a glorious sound. Gas is either stored in a removable gas tank for the full stock models or the buffer tube or pistol grip for the shorter models. Out of the box, these are set to shoot three shots per trigger pull, one from each barrel, but hit a switch and it'll chamber two in each barrel for a six round burst. The shotgun shells add another aspect of realism, but rather than shooting one shot per shell, these act as a magazine holding about 30 shots each. Beyond just the function, these make great collector pieces as well. Fully constructed of metal, the fit and finish does not disappoint. And once you get that orange tip off, it's only lightly glued on. It looks oh so good on any gun wall. Starting off the new models, we have the Jagarms Super CQB or the SCQB. We've carried this for a couple months now and people have been snatching them up quick. It's no surprise that the shorter length makes it absolutely perfect for CQB. Throw it on a single point sling and you have a nice little backup that's so much fun you might just use it more than your primary. It comes with a little peep sight and a rail up top, but let's be honest, you're not really aiming these anyways. Under the barrel, you can store one extra shell, but it is behind a cap, so it's not the quickest swap. The pump is a folding design, and you can either use it like a regular pump, or you can fold it down for a vertical grip that's a little easier to rapid fire. It's personal preference, really, but if you do like that classic pump design, then you want to take a look at the Jagarms TPG or Tactical Pistol Grip. It's about 10 centimeters longer than the SCQB, and it swaps out that folding grip for a classic shotgun pump. It also swaps out that rear sight for a shotgun bead up front. Because of the longer length, you also get a bit more storage underneath the barrel, and this one fits two shells. The TPG has that classic SWAT feel, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty popular with anyone going for that look. And finally, we have my personal favorite, the Jagarms Sawed Off or the SO. A touch longer than the TPG, it's also one of the first Jagarms to feature real wood furniture on the pump as well as that sawed off grip. The quality of the wood is also really nice with a dark finish and a really dense feel. This thing looks straight out of Mad Max. And with that straight grip, I can totally see myself throwing this over my back into a shotgun scabbard like Denzel Washington in the book of Eli. Collectors of weird and wonderful weapons, I think we just found your next gun. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. Pretty nondescript box, just how I like it. Inside you get nice water jet cut foam that protects the gun well, also just how I like it. You get a manual, three spare shells, cleaning rod, and a speed loader. It's worth noting that the Super CQB comes with the classic red shells, and the TPG and the SO comes with these pretty cool clear ones. They kind of remind me of snap caps for firearms. It's pretty cool as well that you can see how they actually work. The manual is all in English and is properly written and quite in depth. It does have an exploded parts diagram at the end, but it is the full stock version. But the internals are more or less the same across the different models. As I said before, all the Jagarms feature full metal builds. If you're curious about the weight, the SCQB comes in at 1.9 kilograms, the TPG comes in at an even 2 kilograms, and the SO comes in at 1.8. For way of reference, a full length CM16 comes in at 2.2. Build quality is excellent with no play in the grip or the body, but all of them do have a little bit of play in the pump. It is part of the design though, and we haven't seen any issues because of it. The one issue that's come up a few times is gas leaking. It's generally down to a dried out O-ring, but that's pretty common with all gas guns. Remember to keep your seals oiled and to store your guns with a little bit of gas inside. Luckily, we do have a full O-ring set from Jagarms. For 20 bucks, it's worth throwing in the kit just for a little peace of mind. We also have a couple spare parts as well, like pumps and trigger groups, just in case yours goes down. 
We also have side saddle shell holders to hold shells on the side of your shotgun for quick access. Not all shotguns will have mounting holes for these, but the quick and easy way is just to use double-sided tape. We do have this shorter one that only holds four shells from SEMA, but I think it really fits the look of the Super CQB. There's also the UK Arms soft shell holder, but it's more for full stocks, and even then it is on the smaller side. But if you're handy with a sewing needle, I'm sure you can modify one of these to fit almost anywhere. But of course, the shell holder I'm sure you guys are most interested in is this one, the Jag Arms 10 round shell holders, available in black, OD, as well as tan. Essentially, it works like a giant magazine with a spring-loaded follower that pushes out the shell so you can easily grab them. Retention is really strong and you have to yank out each shell. If you yank it straight down, there's a little lip that can catch your thumbnail. I found the best technique is to roll out each shell and they pop out smoother too. Loading up the holder, the shells have to alternate direction because of the rim shell. That being said, I managed to load in six shells facing the same direction before it started to bind up. Testing with Jagarm shells, fitment was pretty tight and sometimes the spring would have trouble pushing out the shell. I found that UK arm shotgun shells are a touch thinner and load a bit smoother and yes, they feed Jagarms just fine. That being said, if this were mine, I'd sand down the inner rails so the shells move as freely as possible. On the back of the shell holder, you have your standard malice clips for mounting on molly or even a belt if you want. You can rotate it in four different directions so you can mount it right side up, upside down, or even sideways if you so please. I can definitely see these as being pretty useful if you run shotguns a lot, but aside from just being mounted on your person, at under 20 bucks, I think this makes a cool little shell holder that you can just toss in your bag so you don't have shotgun shells floating around everywhere. And that about does it for this video. Let us know in the comments what you think of airsoft shotguns. Overhyped gimmick or literally the only primary you run for CQB. As always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to support the channel and we'll catch you on the next one.